Welcome to our afternoon read aloud. So today, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to be reading an information book about corn. And more and more in the next few weeks, we are going to be reading and learning about not just corn, but we're gonna connect it to Native Americans and also be practicing learning about how to read information books, how to get super smart about nonfiction books. So this is a bit of a kind of an old fashioned information book. On the cover, you can see Corn, an American Indian gift written by Gare Thompson. And there's no more, there's just a list of some other books in the series on the back. And on the title page, Corn, an American Indian gift. And there's some popcorn, right? And I can see there's a table of contents. Corn long ago, an important crop, a tasty food, more than food, glossary index. Okay, so this section, if we look at the header, remember the heading is maybe the bigger or bold words at the top of the page, and they tell us what's gonna be in that section, right? And this even has a, some nice little decorations. Those are Native American symbols for spirits called kachinas. It says corn long ago. How did corn first begin to grow? Some American Indian legends from long ago try to explain it. One legend tells about three sisters named corn, beans, and squash. Corn was the oldest sister. She had yellow hair and was very tall. Everywhere she walked, corn plants grew in her footsteps. Oh, and look, there's a cute little corn sign for the page numbers. No one knows for sure how corn first began to grow, but it has been grown for thousands of years. The oldest corn cob fossil was found in Mexico. It is about 7,000 years old. The American Indians who lived in Mexico learned to plant corn and help it grow. Often, it was the only food they had to eat. They called it maize. This means bread of life. And of course, in Spanish, it's maiz, right? Maiz and maize. Can you hear that connection? And here's a picture and a caption. Remember caption? Remember in our sign is cap, putting on your cap. A caption are the words, often small, that explain what's in the picture. It says, long ago, people in Mexico ate corn. Well, of course, they still do. We <laughs> but yes, long ago. And this is such a neat a beautiful painting showing all the details in the market of all the crops that are harvested for sale. American Indians learned to use all the parts of the corn plant. They used the leaves to make baskets, beds, and shoes. They even used the stalks, that's the long sticks, right? the stalks to make roofs for homes. Soon items made from the corn plant were used as money to trade. Then the pilgrims came to North America. American Indians shared corn with them. They taught the pilgrims how to plant and grow corn. They showed them that it could be used many ways. And here this says American Indians grew corn for food. And there you can see a good close up picture. Okay, so this next section, right, there's the header, header, an important crop. Today, farmers all around the world grow corn. It can grow in both warm and cold places. Corn is an important crop in North America, China, France, Russia, and India. More corn is grown in the United States than in any other country. The area where it is grown is called the corn belt, but it's grown all over here. This is showing many farmers in China grow corn. Corn takes about four to six months to grow. It is usually planted in the spring. After a seed is planted, it takes about two months for the plant to grow into a strong corn stalk. Soon buds appear on each stalk. These buds take about two months to become fully grown ears of corn. Then the ears are ready to be pulled off the stalk. So here is a young corn plant growing in a field. Some corn is left on the stalk, 
a month after it is ripe. It dries out and turns brown. Then the dry hard corn can be used as food for animals. Farmers use this corn to feed cattle, hogs, chicken, and sheep. Hogs are like pigs, right? And cattle are different kinds of cows. Corn is a good food for animals. Ooh, there's a diagram. That's something we find in information books a lot, right? Diagram, which is a picture with labels. Okay, this is the silk, right? That's that soft part. Kernels, husk, right? That's the leaves that enclose the cob, okay? The corn plant has many parts. The core of an ear of corn is the cob. It holds rows of corn kernels. They are the small parts on the cob. They look like teeth. Some kernels are soft and others are hard. Kernels can be blue, black, white, orange, red, or yellow. Corn husks are the tough leaves that grow around the ear of corn. They protect the kernels from insects and bad weather. Corn silk grows inside the husks with the kernels. Silk is soft and stringy. Ooh, a tasty food. And look, they had little pieces of popcorn there. So that's the new header for the new section. There are many different kinds of corn. The two kinds people like to eat are sweet corn and popcorn. Sweet corn has soft and sweet kernels. When the corn is ripe, the ears are picked from the stalk. The kernels are taken off the cob. They can be frozen or packed in a can. Sweet corn can also be eaten from the cob. All right, elote, see? The ears of corn can be boiled or roasted. This is called eating corn on the cob. Corn on the cob is a tasty food. I agree. Yum, yum. It's making me hungry for some corn. Popcorn has very hard kernels. They can be yellow, orange, or white. Popcorn kernels are heated until they pop open. The kernels turn inside out and become light and fluffy. A single ear can make two big bowls of popcorn. Sometimes people add salt, butter, cheese, or caramel to popcorn. It has been a popular snack for hundreds of years. Long ago, American Indians and pilgrims ate it. And we're going to learn more about that too. Popcorn is a popular snack. Whole kernels are not the only way corn can be eaten. Dried ears of corn can be ground into cornmeal. Remember? Grinding corn, grinding corn. That connection to our new song. This can be used to make cornbread, tamales, grits, corn dogs, cereal, and tortillas. Don't forget tortillas. People of all ages enjoy foods made from cornmeal. Many children like to eat corn dogs at the fair. Tamales are a Mexican food made from cornmeal. And of course, tamales, there can be tamales from other countries too. There's tamales from Salvador. There's tamales from all different countries. More than food. Corn is not only used as food. It is sometimes used to make medicine, paper, paints, plastics, and soap. It has even been used to build a palace. Corn is a plant that we can eat, make things from, and feed to animals. No wonder it is called the bread of life. Corn was used to build a palace in South Dakota. Crazy. Look, they actually made a palace out of corn. They must have used, like, the stalks and stuff. Crazy, huh? Okay, and on the last page is a glossary with words. I think we already know most of these words, and an index. Remember, an index, glossary explains words. Index tells you the page number where you can find those special words. So that's our first information book about corn. And I said it's a little bit of an old-fashioned book because it's kind of like a story with chapters. It's like a story about corn, and each chapter is telling us uh, different things about corn. And you'll notice when we look at some other information books that some more modern information books are a little bit more zappy with fun facts on the side and big giant bold writing. This is like a story, right? But we can sure learn lots of wonderful information from it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the beginning of our learning about corn and connecting it to Native Americans. We'll be studying this for the next month. Uh, and that's about it for today. I hope you have a nice afternoon. Don't forget to keep washing your hands. Cover your crops and sneezes. Do some reading. Do some writing. Help your family around the house. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.